British student designer Amy Radcliffe has come up with a speculative scenario for a smell camera that turns photography into scentography. Basically, the idea is to capture the scent of a specific moment in time in a device with a resin trap that absorbs the particles. You then send that sample off, and you get back a perfume-like vial that you can keep and smell whenever you want to trigger that memory in your brain. Now, scent capture technology has already been in existence for quite some time. It's called headspace technology and is widely used by the perfume and flavoring industry. But the idea to merge that technology with the concept of a camera is new and is very amazing. Only it's too expensive and bulky and impractical right now. But keep in mind the development of the camera over the last 200 years. When it first was invented, you could only take one image at a time, stored on one plate to be developed later. It was big, bulky, and not at all practical by today's standards. But then we got film cameras that could store many images on a roll of film, and film processing centers that could develop the film much more rapidly. Now we can store thousands of photographs on tiny disks and view them instantly. Why can't smell technology develop the same way? Imagine if you had a device that could not only store photos and videos, but hundreds of smell recordings that you could sniff instantly, or in a little smell printer in your house to create a much more immersive memory aid. And there's no reason to think people with a lot more resources than Amy Radcliffe, with a lot more scientific knowledge than me, won't try to develop it considering how much money they could stand to gain and how much of a leap forward it would be in our ability to record our history. Imagine being able to spray the scent of a Civil War battlefield into the air if you're a teacher or waking up and spraying the exact scent onto your bed of that morning when you camped next to a beautiful river or a beautiful woman. What would you use your centigraph for?